We might think of ourselves as pretty evolved creatures, but did you know that each and every one of us are hoarding body parts that we no longer need? It's not quite as weird as it sounds. The body parts are still in our bodies, thankfully, but these vestigial traits, as they're known, are a hangover from an evolutionary past and a time when we might have done things a little differently. Take, for example, birds, like the ostrich, kakapo, or kiwi. These guys have evolved a lifestyle that doesn't need them to take to the air, and so they stay on terra firma for their whole lives. Since they've got no use for their wings, you might expect them to disappear completely. But evolution doesn't quite work like that. Features that are useful tend to be favoured and optimised, but for features that don't serve a purpose, as long as they're not a disadvantage to the animal's survival, tend to disappear gradually. So an ostrich's wings might still be an impressive sight, but they're simply too small and weak to lift the massive birds off the ground. Given enough time, vestigial features become more and more subtle. Pythons and boas evolved from four-limbed reptiles over a hundred million years ago. Some primitive lizards were born with smaller legs, which helped them to get around in certain environments. As these new creatures were more successful, natural selection did its thing, and as millions of years passed, so did their need for limbs. The result? Limbless snakes, like the gorgeous Burmese python. But although their walking days are far behind them, they still carry around the vestiges of legs. They've got tiny pelvic bones near where their tail starts, resulting in little pelvic spurs. And the amazing thing is these pelvic bones aren't even attached to their spine. They simply float within the body, hanging around like 100 million year old spare parts. You'd think they'd have got the message by now. Us humans are no no exception when it comes to unnecessary body parts. Back when our ape-like ancestors were living in the exposed wild, hair covered almost their entire bodies, like it does for all mammals. And like most mammals, they evolved an automatic reflex that stands those hairs on end when they get cold. Doing this thickens the layer of insulating fur and keeps more warm air close to the skin. Fast forward to today, and modern humans like you and me are rarely left out in the cold Without our clothes, animal skins and jumpers keep us warm, so we've mostly done away with our body hair. The fine fuzz that's left is a fairly useless vestigial trait. And that's not all. We've still got the reflex response to stand our hairs on end for insulation when we feel cold. <laughs> Tiny erect muscles in our skin pull the hairs upright, but with so few left, they're unlikely to make a big difference to our body temperature, even when they're standing to attention. What they do make is goosebumps, as the hairs push the skin out of the way. And it's these tiny lumps and bumps that are all that's left of what was once an ingenious survival technique. Many other features of our animal ancestors have been dialed right down, like our tailbones. When our predecessors lived in trees, a prehensile tail came in very handy as a fifth limb. But living on the ground and walking upright doesn't call for a tail too often, so over time they were reduced to just a couple of fused bones that we now know as the coccyx. But Every once in a while, a baby is born that does have a tail. This evolutionary throwback is called an atavistic trait, where a feature that our ancestors once had suddenly appears again, thanks to the vestigial genes being randomly switched back on. So whether it's evolutionary hangovers or evolutionary throwbacks, the winding path of natural selection is actually visible in animals living today. If you know where to look. There are loads more examples of vestigial traits in the animal kingdom, and I'm looking forward to reading your favourites in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and go ahead and click the bell to be notified when Earth Unplugged upload a new video.